Mimi nataka niwahakikishie na niwaambie hawa watu wanaandika gazeti tuko na wabunge 400 bungeni. Na kuwa mbunge unasafanya kazi tofauti tofauti. Kuna mwenye anasafanya kazi kule nje, kuna mwenye anafanya kazi kule kwa komiti, kuna mwingine lakini mimi hiyo bunge ni nacheza rolu kubwa sana. Kwa sababu kuna mambo mingi ya kutaka kupitishwa ila muhimu. Huwa si tuna, tunapatikana kule bunge. But we are not idolers. Wanataka niambia hawa kuna watu wa Kiingereza mingi wale tumewaachia hiyo kazi ya bunge. Eh? wala marafiki zetu kutoka upande wa Nyanza kutoka ile makona zingine kuna watu wanasungukia ngapo bunge lakini tuko na kazi mingi ya kufanya sijasikia complain kutoka kwa wananchi kutoka kwa wangu thank you mr speaker mr speaker first i want to thank the house business committee chama member for prioritizing the parliamentary service bill mr speaker that bill has been overdue, overdue for some time now but uh, having said mr speaker mr speaker i wanted to draw to your attention that Mr. Speaker, when we came to this house, we all took oath of office, which said that we must defend and protect the Constitution as a state officer. Mr. Speaker, defending that Constitution and, uh, is by, and protecting it is also by respecting the institutions that have been created by that Constitution, Mr. Speaker, which includes this house, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, recently, the last three days, there was uh, an opinion poll or something that was brought out of uh, members who were active, non-active, which I don't believe it was done scientifically myself, but a member went out of his way, Mr. Speaker, to disparage this house in a very, very awkward manner, Mr. Speaker, and said that uh, he doesn't waste his time in that house. He has uh, serious other businesses to do, Mr. Speaker. And I felt, Mr. Speaker, as uh, a member of this house, I'm, I have a duty and obligation to defend this house when it's under attack. And more so when it's under attack from a member of the house itself, Mr. Speaker, than from someone else, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, in spite of his limitations, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Sudi said that he has other businesses to do and Kengeresa Mingi to court him in court. Amewachia watu wanatoka nyansa na upandiyo ingine, Mr. Speaker. Ambaye wanajua kuonge ya ndani ya bunge Kengeresa Mingi, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, that's a very offensive attitude, Mr. Speaker, towards this house, Mr. Speaker. I know, Mr. Speaker, the Nyanza people speak very good English, and the Queen's language for that matter. And, Mr. Speaker, that is the only thing that they inherited from the European when they were living the colonial times. They never got land. They were left with English, Mr. Speaker. And up to now, they are the custodians of that language. But, Mr. Speaker, it is very, very unfortunate that a member can speak in that manner and, and impute improper motive to this house, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, a member of parliament has three roles as per the constitution, legislation, oversight, and representation, Mr. Speaker. You can represent member, your people in funerals, and you can uh, oversight even in your house, and you can do other oversights, as Honorable Miller has alluded to one time. But legislation can only happen inside this house, Mr. Speaker. And 8, 90% of this work we do here is legislation, including the money the Honorable Member is using outside there of constituency development fund must be legislated here and voted for here in form of a budget and a vote, vote Mr. Speaker. And in the, committee, in the committee, uh, committees, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if we don't stop evil, Mr. Speaker, then it's going to be the norm. Everybody will think you can attack Parliament at, at any time at, as you wish. How can a member of this House, Mr. Speaker, speak so badly about this House that he has other serious business to do, and even if he doesn't attend house businesses, he, has, he will be still be re-elected. Who are these people who don't judge their member whether he attends the parliament or not, Mr. Speaker? This must be a constituency in Uganda or Tanzania or somewhere else, not in Kenya, Mr. Speaker. And I'm not saying that members of those other countries don't attend, but I'm alluding that this house is so important, Mr. Speaker, that a member cannot speak uh, the way Honorable Sudi has And you see, Mr. Speaker, the, the standing orders are clear. You can use three languages. You can use English, you can use Kiswahili, you can use sign language. Honorable Sudi can use sign language if the other two have got uh, limitations on those other two, Mr. Speaker, either English or Kiswahili. Or I can amend the standing order on his behalf so that we can get interpretation from other tags here. Mr. Speaker, he can come here if the standing order will allow us speak in his Kalenjin language. Then another member who's learned like Professor Tuitok 
can, can interpret for him that the member is saying this, and he's saying, is, or, or come Kate is here, Mr. Speaker. Or Sosion, who's nominated, who has not much work to do. Mr. Speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Uh, the matter, it's really, really, I really felt very bad, Mr. Speaker, as a member of this house. I felt that the meaning of this house should be done by other people, but not a member of this house who enjoys privileges, Mr. Speaker, as a member of the House. Mr. Speaker, if we demean our House, it is our own problem, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I want you to, to look into that matter, and if possible, the standing order has allowed me to name him, but Mr. Speaker, as the Chairman of the Powers and Privileges Committee, Mr. Speaker, I beseech you to summon that member, Mr. Speaker, and take disciplinary action against him the way Okike Ma used to do when he was the chairman of the disciplinary committee in Kano, Mr. Speaker. Because this, that is very bad, Mr. Speaker. And he must apologize to the people I represent whom he claimed to be talking English, Mr. Speaker. It's a, you know, ch children there speak in English when they are born immediately, Mr. Speaker. That is Michael Onyango, Mr. Speaker. The name is, he is born with Michael, he's English. So, Mr. Speaker, with those few remarks, Mr. Speaker, this is a very serious matter, and we cannot allow it to, we cannot wish it away like that, Mr. Speaker. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. Now, <clears throat> when I see a member raising up their hands, I wonder whether he's using sign language. The Honorable Milo, the what is your issue? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, I think what Honorable Jeanette Mohammed has raised is a very serious issue. And Mr. Speaker, even though I wouldn't be calling for the punishment of the Honorable Member, but I think it is good that the House be informed. Mr. Speaker, me, I see this as a case of reverse psychology, a case of uh, misinformation, and uh, really another case which I'll explain later. Mr. Speaker, on the issue of reverse psychology, it always happens that when you feel inadequate, then you want to make others feel bad when you yourself are inadequate. Mr. Speaker, I speak very good English, and I have no apology. I speak very good law. I have no apology. The only apology I have is I do not speak as good as sober as I would wish. So I will practice speaking very good sober. But I have no apologies. And I might also have apologies that I don't speak very good Kiswahili. The more languages we speak, I also speak Spanish. But I will only apologize. But do I say, Mr. Speaker? I will only apologize for not uh, speaking other languages well. Because we are in a global uh, society and the more languages you speak, the better for you. But Mr. Speaker, I want to say that if you actually look at the report that Honorable Junette is saying, I was also named, even though it may not be uh, scientific, but I was named as the best performing woman MP and the third best performing member of parliament. Uh, Mr. Speaker, even though it's not scientific, I have already in this house before declared myself one of the best performing because I know how to judge myself. But I want to say that one of the people that have been mentioned, some of the people that have been mentioned as good as performers include Honorable Kimani Chungwa, Honorable Joseph Limo of Kipkelion, Honorable Robert Pukose, Honorable David Gikaria of Nakuru, Honorable William Cheptungmo of Baringo, Honorable uh, Senator Samson Cherargay of Nandi, Honorable Kato, Honorable Aaron Cheruyot. Mr. Speaker, those people speak very good English. So it is not a regional issue. It is a disability of that member. And Mr. Speaker, we are willing to teach him English. And if he can't speak English, we can also teach him Kiswahili. Even my speak Kiswahili is bad, but we can teach him. So Mr. Speaker, I would want to encourage that member to feel, uh, to feel free and come to the house. You don't have to be comfortable speaking English. You can speak Kiswahili. And that is why we have two languages you can speak on the floor of this house. But as Honorable Junette says, our quarrel is legislative. And if you do not come to this house like we are passing budget, how sure is he that things of his constituency are in the budget? Me, I sit occupied in this house budget time to make sure that budget going to Suba North is in the budget. So him who is representing his people when he's here. Finally, Mr. Speaker, in my mother tongue, there is a language we say, Meaning when a strong man steps on your mother's pipe, you turn to your mother, 
and say, Mom, why are you putting your pipe in a wrong place? There's a strong man stepping in his mother's pipe. Let him face the strong man. He should not look at the mother and say, why is your smoking pipe in the wrong place? And it is not us who are stepping on his, on his mother's smoking pipe. Let him deal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.